YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. Today I have another product review, and this one is a pretty exciting one, well for me anyways, uh, because I get to talk about my awesome little Jackson uh, JS Series RR Minion. Now if you didn't know, RR stands for Randy Rhodes, and Randy Rhodes was the amazing guitar player for Ozzy Osbourne, who sadly passed away ahead of his time. And uh, that was uh, due to a, a plane accident, not a drug overdose like some people think. Uh, but anyway, it is a great guitar for the money. It's about $169 on Amazon. I'll post a link down below if you want to check it for yourself. But the main reason why I'm doing this review is some people, you know, they're not sure about this guitar because they think maybe it's only a kid's guitar because it is a three quarters uh, scale neck. And what that means is the neck has been basically uh, shortened and put tighter together. Um, so it has all the frets. In fact, it has 24 frets, which is more than a standard guitar, which has 22. But the neck and everything is a little bit shorter. The, the frets are closer together and the neck is a little bit shorter. But that being said, the size of the body on this thing is so gigantic that it kind of still looks like an adult sized guitar when you have it on. Now, I'm not like a really, really big person. Um, I'm average height, but I'm a little bit skinnier than some guys. And my hands aren't really that big either. Like I have like pretty small hands for a guy actually. So for me, actually this guitar uh, fits me perfectly to play it. Uh, the neck is in a very comfortable position. Uh, having it be, you know, closer to my eye when I look down, like it's really easy to play. But it also could be really good for a kid too. Um, so if you're, you know, you have a child that is into wanting to start to play guitar and want to play like kind of a metal or kind of flashy looking guitar, these are really cool. I mean, they come in all these like cool colors. I got the hot pink. Uh, there's also like, I think like a lime green. Then there's also like black and I don't know, some other colors too, but I really love the hot pink. It, I think it just looks really cool. Now, as far as the guitar quality, um, the pickups, in my opinion, sound really nice. Um, I'm only playing through a crate amplifier right now, which is not like the highest quality amp, but it all it still sounds good even through this amp. Um, I'm going to play a song here in a little bit, too, at the end of this video of a song that I'm going to work out totally on this guitar. Well, I also did bass and there's some drums in there, but all the guitar parts I'll play on this guitar so you guys can hear. Of course, it'll be in my style which is a little bit weird, but anyway, some of you probably used to that if you've watched my videos. More about the quality of the guitar. Uh, a couple of criticisms I have, one being the pickup uh, plates. Uh, I guess that's what you call those. These are the pickups and like these little things that hold the pickups in place. Uh, they're kind of like not very um, good. <laughs> so like you can see that that's like bowing a little bit. Of course it has no effect on the sound of the guitar, but it is just an aesthetic thing. Um, I think maybe they were over tightened in the factory, so it caused it to bow just a little bit. Uh, the pots, the pots are the knobs. Uh, they feel fine, and I haven't had any problems with those. The switch is good too. You have two pickups. You can either do uh, all the way down for the bridge position pickup. You can do the middle uh, for both pickups at the same time, and you can do the neck position pickup there. And then you also have a tone control and a volume control here. Now, the other criticism I have is the input jack uh, has come loose a couple of times since I got the guitar. And I just think that was due to it not being uh, tightened quite enough in the factory. But, you know, I just haven't, I've been a little bit lazy and haven't tightened it up with some pliers yet, which I'm sure would fix the problem. Um, so, you know, if you get it from Amazon or have it shipped online somewhere uh, or from somewhere, then you might have to do some adjustments and get it set up a little bit before it's ready to play. Uh, if you get it in a guitar shop, they'll probably do all that before you actually buy it. So it might be better to do that. Um, the other thing, though, is since it is a short scale guitar, uh, the strings that come on it are very light gauge. I think they must have been like nines or eights. Uh, they felt really, really light. And they tend to be very floppy on the guitar if you have those really light gauge strings on there. And like a bend, when I still have the light gauge strings, like this is a bend. If I were doing that with like the really, really light gauge strings, I would easily bend it right off the end of the neck. So what I did is I actually put really uh, heavy gauge, uh, 12 gauge 
flat wound strings on here. Now, some people might not want to use flat wounds, and actually that wasn't even my first choice. I just happened to have a set of 12 flat wounds lying around, so I put them on there, and they seem to work good. Actually, I like it a lot. And I have it tuned down right now to a uh, standard D tuning rather than uh, tuned from E because I was recording something that was kind of heavy. So you can see this is an E or a D rather than an E. And with the 12 gauge strings on there, that works just fine. I'm not getting any buzzes or anything on all the notes going up the neck. Um, so aside from that, uh, the tuning keys are decent quality. I mean, they're, they're your basic, I don't know, like run of the mill regular tuners. Uh, nothing fantastic, but they're okay. I mean, they feel a little bit rough, a little bit, but it seems to stay in tune pretty good. The bridge is a fixed bridge. There's no tremolo bar or anything like that. And the strings go through the body and come out the back uh, to put them on. And what else? Uh, overall, build quality is pretty nice, aside from the couple adjustments that I mentioned. Um, now it is only $169, so you can't expect like a, you know, a $1,200 Les Paul quality or something like that. But it is a really fun guitar and it looks awesome. These things just have a really, really cool look. Um, the Randy, Randy Rhodes was really, uh, you know, colorful character in his playing style as well as the guitars he always played. He had like a polka dot flying V and I think it's a nice tribute to him. Uh, and he is a great guitarist. I love Blizzard of Oz, the record that he is famous for with Ozzy Osbourne. One of my all-time favorite metal albums. But anyway, check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure you have. But if you haven't for some reason, definitely listen to Blizzard of Oz. And now, since uh, I think that's all I need to talk about, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the song that I made on this thing.
All right, that's all for the Jackson JS Minion RR. I think it's got way too long of a name. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe if you want and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to support me, my Patreon is patreon.com slash demonic sweaters. And my music is at anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you soon.